Welcome back. One final point before we go tonight. Oh, this one tonight is for Republicans. I know I usually criticize Democrats and they richly deserve it. But listen up, Republicans in Congress. Seriously, it's not even that difficult. Defund Planned Parenthood, build a border wall, cut wasteful government spending and welfare programs, protect the Second Amendment in its entirety, defend religious liberty and free speech, cut taxes, and, re and repeal Obamacare. Why can't the GOP just do what they promised? Listen, if you Republicans in Congress, if you don't have the stomach to fight, fine, great, I have no beef with you. But if you don't have the stomach to fight, you don't belong in Congress. Get out so somebody with the will to win can do battle and represent us. I understand the left is awful. I understand the mainstream media always tries to paint you as liars or racists or bigots, and that hurts because it's not true. I get that your Democratic colleagues call for compromise when Republicans are in the majority, and maybe you're trying to compromise in good faith. But stop. Don't forget, when Democrats were the majority, they just rammed through Obamacare and ignored you, Republicans. Now it's our turn. We have two more weeks of a Republican majority. And Republicans in Congress, yeah, you've done a lot of good things in the past two years. You've cut taxes, you've repealed the individual mandate in Obamacare in the Senate. And in the Senate, you've confirmed two constitutional Supreme Court justices. That's wonderful. Nobody's arguing either that the GOP hasn't been pro-life. President Trump has been a tremendous ally to the pro-life cause, and I give him kudos for that. But the GOP has a majority in the House, in the Senate, and the presidency, and they still haven't defunded Planned Parenthood. Yeah, the House voted a few times, but did they fight for it? Did they use their position of power to threaten Democrats with something that matters to Democrats? No, they didn't. The fact of the matter is Republicans have a majority in the House, the Senate, and the presidency, and they have not defunded Planned Parenthood, period. Over 50% of the American people want a border wall, according to polls by both CBS and Harvard Harris. The Republicans have a majority in the House, the Senate, and the presidency, plus the Democrats who are pretending a wall is immoral now actually voted for a wall just a few years ago. This shouldn't be that hard of a fight. Build a wall and secure our border or else shut down the government and make Democrats take responsibility. That's your job. Enough with a wasteful spending too, you're Republicans. If you campaign on fiscal responsibility, we expect you to follow through or else we're gonna fire you. It's not rocket science. If Republicans can't pass conservative objectives when we have a majority in Congress and the presidency, then when do you think we're gonna pass conservative objectives? Never? If never is your answer, please let us know so we can hire somebody better for the job. And if your answer is now, then do it. Fight and be conservative like you promised your voters you would be. And that is my final point. You can reach me on Twitter at Liz underscore Wheeler. If you like the show, please send me an email at oann.com slash contact. In the meantime, catch us here tomorrow at 9 p.m. Eastern. And until then, have a good night. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.